Delhi is the most efficient project not only in India but also in Asia. And from here, our journey will take us to KG D6 space. Controversy has revolved around who gets the natural gas extracted here. Mukesh Ambani's RIL won a bid to look for gas, which experts say is the future of energy in India and the world. The deal included RIL getting 85% of gas until it recovers its investment of 50,000 crores. After that, RIL gets just 15% of the gas and 85% goes to the government. The government devised a pricing system for the same. RIL would get gas at $2.34 per British unit. Customers would pay $4.2 per British unit. But Anil Ambani says he wants the gas at $2.34 and the right to resell it at $4.2. He claims a private memorandum of understanding with Mukesh gives him the right. But here's a small detail. The MOU was subject to government approval which never came. What's more, reselling or trading in gas is not allowed in India to prevent profiteering in this vital natural resource. When you look at it, uh, it seems as if uh, uh, the entire issue really becomes of who this gas is of. Uh, I want to take it from you. Who does natural gas really belong to? I'll go by the production sharing contract. It's a production sharing contract is the agreement between Diamond of India and the contract consisting of a consortium of Reliance and NICO. If you go by the contract, the one of the first lines that say is that you know government is the owner of this natural resource. So I mean I don't see any controversy. The contract is very clear. Government continues to remain the owner of this resource. We are a contractor and uh, we take the risk and put in all the investments. Government doesn't take any risk, doesn't put in any investments. And if we are successful in finding gas, uh, we have to put in more investment to produce the gas. And then by selling gas, we recover our investment. And then we share the profits with the government. Let's, let's get back to uh, uh, trading of gas. Now, that has been in headline news because ADAG has been saying that, well, if they don't have a power plant, they want to trade in gas. Uh, uh, this, uh, for my mind, this was mean that anybody in the industry should also be allowed to trade in gas. Uh, how do you think this uh, could actually impact the industry? I'm not, I'm actually asking you, of course, you're a party to the entire dispute, but the fact that you are uh, in the industry as well, uh, this would actually be against the entire uh, entire industry that, the, that India can create. See, as government, uh, you know, we are not allowed to trade gas. We produce gas as a contractor to government of India, but we are not allowed to trade. We can only sell it to one entity who is the actual consumer. Now, if I am allowed to trade, because I know that I can sell this gas at a much, much higher price, I can easily sell it to, you know, somebody else, you know, who may not be at an arm's length basis, and then he can in turn sell it at market price, which means somebody in between is making the arbitrage and making the difference between the garment determined price and the market price because the spot gas is being sold at a much higher price and there is a demand for gas at higher price. So that is what I believe is not in anybody's interest because the customer is losing and the government is not gaining. Somebody in between is making the money. You know, uh, you were talking about uh, gas and how actually gas is available in the market at much higher price. One instance of that, of course, is how NTPC is ready to buy gas from Gale at $8 per MMBTU, uh, but not ready to buy gas from you at uh, $2.34 per MMBTU. Uh, you have also gone up to the government and said, you know, do something about it. Make NTPC take that quota, otherwise take that cap off us. Uh, uh, what, what do you think is actually making NTPC not buy gas at $2.34 but buy it at $8? Uh, NTPC is buying gas at, uh, you know, if technically NTPC may be buying today gas at 8 or maybe $9, but, but from, you know, maybe they have signed a contract where they will be paying, paying even more than that price. What we have said to the government is, 
here is a gas that you determine the price at 4.2 dollars. So why don't you please have the NTPC to take this gas because you know it is in it's in their interest and it's in our interest to sell gas to them and if they, because it's cheaper they should take it. But I understand they have got a legal advice saying that they should not be buying the gas. I mean I cannot comment on any legal advice but I do hope the lawyers know the cost of their advice. Anil's hunger for cheap gas rests on the fact that he had made up to 3 lakh crore from it. As part of his battle, he is accused RIL of inflating the cost of this project. The government and private analysts don't agree. <laughs>